There are good stickers and there are bad stickers. The good stickers peel off with ease. The bad stickers are made of paper and they displease. We're two full grown men <laughs> and that was... who can do something like this. But for whatever reason, we were like little girls there. Very fine living here at the Yosted. I didn't specify, I didn't ask him to specify whether it was the last one of that model or the last one in Tennessee, period. <laughs> Hi there, yo folks. Welcome back to the Yostead. I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman, and I find myself in an unforeseen situation, an interesting situation today. As many of you know, we'll be processing these meat chickens here in a few weeks, and, well, we need a dedicated place to put them, preferably something like a chest freezer. Right now, the only freezer we have is the one that's attached to our refrigerator. That won't be enough. For a while, we had just planned on picking up a freezer, a chest freezer, a week, maybe two weeks before the processing date. However, we weren't aware that there's apparently a big shortage of freezers. This year has been all about shortages in various different industries. Empty shelves at the grocery store, uh, shipping containers sitting offshore, waiting. So a lot of things that we would normally take for granted, retail stuff that you'd pick up, home goods, things like that, are not as available as they typically are. When we mentioned the fact in a previous video that we're going to be buying a freezer, a lot of you guys left comments saying that freezers are one of those things that are very scarce right now. Something we had no idea about. So thank you for letting me know. I'd say I got at least a dozen comments and or emails telling me, warning me about the freezer shortage. So with that in mind, we decided that we need to pick up a freezer ASAP, as in today. Okay, so I got in touch with a couple places in the area and apparently there's some merit to this whole freezer. Freezers are running out left and right. So I talked to, <laughs> it's crazy. I talked to one guy at Lowe's and he said that they had five freezers in stock of the size that we want. I think there's like little mini freezers that they have, but that's not big enough for us. He had five particular freezers in stock as of this morning, but when I called him, when I talked to him, there were three freezers left. And he said that it's very possible that, that they'll have no stock here within a few hours. He said that's the same story in all of the stores in the area. So we are gonna do our best to go out and get our hands on one of the last few remaining freezers in East Tennessee. You ready for this, Holly? Here we go. We need to go take the cover off of the truck. Dad's gonna help us and then we are gonna hit the road. Wish us luck. You're good, right? Yeah, I'm good. All right, so I'm just taking this thing off. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, that's out. And same thing with this one. I seem to remember it being easier last time. Yeah, okay, mine's off. Yours off. Yours just needs to come down before... There we go. Got it? So this is slightly embarrassing, but that, we're two full grown men <laughs> and that who was... can do something like this. But for whatever reason, we were like little girls there. <laughs> it seemed a lot easier the last time we did it. We got it done. It we just got it did done. not look pretty. Uh, no. And putting it back on, I remember from last time, was a bit more difficult. So hopefully... Uh, well, maybe we won't record that. Maybe we won't record it. If you don't see it... <laughs> you know it didn't go well. It didn't go well. All right, so the great 
freezer quest begins, <laughs> and I am uh, in the catbird seat here between Dad and Holly, <laughs> and I got my knees up here in the middle, and we are gonna go. We're gonna go to Lowe's first. Yes. Our fingers crossed to see if they have a freezer. Now, like I was saying. There are some mini freezers available that are the size of like a, ma a mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> one chicken is always one, one chicken would fit one chicken in them. <laughs> but for anything that's reasonably sized that you want to fit a decent amount of food in, pickings are slim. So we're off. It's a beautiful fall day. It's actually chilly it enough really to is. wear it's a coat, nice. right, Holly? Fingers are, are crossed. Let's see what we can. Let's see what we can get. I think it'll end well. It's this one right here. That I believe there's three left. So this one, no, none left. one chicken. Right here. So yeah, these little ones right here. Yeah, that's one, that's... It just looks bigger. It looks bigger, but it's the same. I mean, it's 0.1. Apparently there's only, we got the last freezer, at least in this store. The last freezer in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, again, not counting those little tiny freezers, I think they may have had a few of those, but from like anything seven cubic feet and up, I'm pretty sure it was the last one. I didn't specify, I didn't ask him to specify whether it was the last one of that model or the last one in Tennessee, period. <laughs> Either way, there was one of those left and we managed to get it. There was five this morning and I grabbed the last one and it's what time is it? It's not even three o'clock. That whole rumor about freezers running out is definitely true. I wonder if you can buy, I didn't ask them, I wonder if you could buy the floor models if things got really desperate. But I don't know if they're allowed to sell those floor models or not because you know they might get it back in stock and they need to have a floor model to show for when it's back in stock, but either way, one freezer left, and we grabbed it. What you doing here, Holly? There are good stickers and there are bad stickers. The good stickers peel off with ease. The bad stickers are made of paper and they displease. Up she goes. It's a shame that we didn't have to do this. All right, so you're... Now, I don't want too much weight on this. Oh, you want to put some weight on this? So we'll let you do yours first. Do people do this by themselves? Well, if they do, I want to meet them. You got it? And maybe shake their hand. It needs to what, slide forward a little bit? Nope, it's in there. I think you've got to push yep. and turn. I'm just trying to catch a thread. Yeah. And see now, I think the whole, the whole thing needs to slide forward. Yes, it does. Nice. And up. <laughs> Woo! Not easy to do. All right, Holly, so we've got it up, and other than the sticker conundrum, things seem to be pretty good in there. Looking inside, it's already starting. So we're running it, we're plugging it in first just to ensure that it's working as it's supposed to work. But given that it works, once we confirm that it does, we'll probably unplug it since I don't think we're going to put anything in there until. Probably not. We chickens. have a bit of room in our freezer and there's no reason to have it running when we don't we don't have a bunch of chickens to put in it. So I think this will fit all twenty seven birds that we're gonna slaughter. Twenty eight. So. That should. So. It seems pretty deep enough. 
Um, obviously, we were kidding about this being the last freezer in Tennessee, but I mean, kind of kidding. If you're thinking about getting a freezer or if you need a freezer, you may want to consider getting one. And I'm not going to say as soon as possible, but they're definitely uh, hot ticket items at this point. Now, we've got this freezer. It's pretty small. It'll fit a bunch of chickens, but anything beyond that might be, it might not be enough. I think eventually, I mean, we've talked about it, Holly. We're going to be a multi-freezer family. We'll be a multi-freezer family. So we'll, we'll, we'll have more than one freezer eventually. You see that with other homestead folk. They'll have one or two or three freezers. Sometimes in not the most aesthetic locations. We had talked about... Ours is in the foyer. <laughs> <laughs> we had talked about like, hey, you know, this isn't, this isn't the the most aesthetically pleasing spot for a freezer, but it's the one spot that would work pretty well. And it's right out the kitchen. So. The kitchen's right next door, so we don't care. You know, I really think having a freezer is a pretty important item, a deep freezer, something beyond just the freezer on your fridge, is a pretty important item if you're homesteading or trying to do self-sufficiency or raising your own meat, especially. It's just an item that you're going to have to get eventually. And so I'm glad that we were able to get this. Um, so yeah, here, here we have the freezer. And then over here we have lady with cat. <laughs> Very fine living here at the Yostead. At the Yostead. I'd like to send a special thank you to those of you that warned me about the freezer shortage. Like I said at the beginning of this video, we had no idea that freezers are running out and that they're becoming so scarce. We lucked out in that we got the last freezer available, at least at this particular particular store. Now, I'm not sure if there would have been more freezers that would have come in or if the prospects of getting one would have just dwindled. Either way, we got one when we needed one. I don't know if we would have been able to get one three weeks from now when we slaughter these guys. So again, thank you so much. That's one of the reasons I love the comments so much is you guys uh, keep me informed and you keep me abreast of things that are going on. So thank you for that. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And until we meet again next week, remember, as always, slowly, slowly. Slowly.